Alright, I'm going to do a video today about Variax. I'm going to show you how to wire them and uh, tell you about how they work. So, for my example, I'm going to be using this very small Variac because it doesn't have a case. It's kind of open. You can see all the wires. But they're all the same. Whether you use a big one like that one or my main one over here, all these are the same. So, all the Variac does, it takes in the line voltage and it lets me tap off any point of it. So, it, it's a transformer. It's just a one-to-one -one ratio transformer, so put in 120 volts, I should get 120 volts out. But I can tap off any point of that, so maybe I can get 12 volts, or 30 volts, or 50 volts, or whatever, any point. So that's all it does, it lets me select what voltage I want out. And to wire one of these, you most Variax have five terminals, um, some have only three, and it's the same because you really don't need the extra two terminals wire this. So I'll show you both ways. If yours has five, you want to put your neutral here and your hot there. So your neutral, if you look at where that old pin goes, goes to the very beginning of the toroid. And the hot goes on pin two to here. It's not quite all the way. So that means if I turn the brush to here, that's 120 volts, and all this is over one, so I can probably get 140 out. Now, if yours doesn't have those, you want to do the same thing. Put your neutral here, but you want to put your hot here, which, if you look at this little diagram, it would just be the very end of the toroid, so you can only get 120 out. You won't have any overwind. Um, that's where you put your line in. Now, to get your line out, you share a common neutral, and... You want it, the brush is your hot output. So, share neutral and hot. So, that's all for the output. Now, you might be wondering what this number 5 is. You probably want to stay away from that terminal. Um, but what it does, if you look, there's number 5 going in. So, all right here, that will be 120 volts. And the rest of this, all the way around, will be overwind. Now, that might be a good thing, you can get that much volt out, but it will burn up your variac if you do not use a proper ballast. Um, they're not really designed for that, um, but it's there if you need it, so I wouldn't recommend doing that because you run the risk of popping your variac or having these arc over over here, and then, uh, well, your variac will be ruined. And it, It's uh, rather hard to uh, repair these, or I guess it's not very hard, it's just time consuming. I have actually repaired this one because where I got it, someone had it wired it incorrectly and shorted it, burned out these. So that was a pretty easy fix. You just cut those off and lift the top piece so it doesn't jump the gap. But if it burned out right here, you'd be in trouble. So I wouldn't recommend uh, using that fifth tap. So uh, as I say, it's the same for all the Variax, whether yours is two, or has three terminals, or the five, or it's uh, 110 or 240 volts. So, um, I hope you learned something from this video. Alright, I'm just going to um, show you this working now to prove that that is the correct way to wire your Variac. So, uh, here's the plug. I'm just going to plug this in now. Ah, it didn't go bang. That's good. Alright, so uh, there's the multimeter. Which comes down to the uh, little clips on the output of the Variac. So, I'm going to start cranking this up and uh, show you it working. So, there's it's all the way down. And like I said, this point right here should be about 120. Ah, bingo, it is. Now, uh, here's the overwind I was talking about. All the way up to 150. So, uh, that's quite good to get 150 volts out of your 120 volt so socket. So, if you're on 240 volts, you might get 270 out. So, um, yeah, that is how to wire the Variac. Um, thanks for watching.